People often want to see what day-to-day -day life running my own business is like. But a couple days ago this rolled in. Actually it was Friday that it came in. Right before Labor Day weekend. I was getting ready to leave. The guy wanted it done immediately, but hey, I'm going on vacation, so I couldn't. Uh, point being, it's a in theory, a really, really quick project. Um, I gotta be careful on a few things, but basically all I gotta do is grind down this weld right here and redo it. And I thought I'd film it because this is a really good representation of a lot of what I do with my business. Very simple things like this. Uh, the guy was just gonna get a new cylinder, it's a little hydraulic cylinder, and he called up the dealership I believe this is off of the Case International Combine. And they want $500 for this stupid little cylinder. Which if you go online, you can find a very similar cylinder for well under $100. Uh, so yeah, dealerships are a ripoff, aren't they? Anyway, so he uh, said where the paint is missing right here on this weld, he just wants me to fix it. So it's gonna take me a while to set up and probably showing you what I'm gonna to do to it will actually be shorter than my talking right now. I don't have two of the correct plugs. So since this one actually screws in, put it up here where I'm working. This one just slides in. I can just add a little tape. show you this a little bit of glare but I just took the oh and then I smeared it with my finger now you can't see it for sure here let me show you again here just using the sanding disc I was gonna get rid of the paint there look at that line this weld is completely junk as a matter of fact there's oil coming out of it right there I zero penetration on that that's amazing. All right, I think I'll switch to the cutoff wheel here real quick. And make a line this way. Dig it out. Oh yeah, there's oil coming out of there all right. It's amazing. Actually, I need to take a picture of that. Oh, I can tell the customer what I did. nothing there there was no material down in there basically I just cut off the top layer where the weld was and the grinding wheel just kind of like fell into that slot all right I'm gonna clean that up a little bit with some oh I just grab some carb cleaner since it's sitting here and then we'll start welding It'll get hotter than that, just an operation. Yeah, you know, I mean, I've grabbed a hold of hydraulic cylinders on a backhoe or something, and you can't even touch them. They get so dang hot. So, I mean, that's, it's uncomfortable, but I can keep my fingers on it. Therefore, we ain't got no problems. So, that's what my little weld looks like. 
See, I started out a little cold because there was no heat. Came around, hot, running downhill, so I had to stop. Well, I didn't actually stop, so I had to come back uphill. I, my bead actually ran clear down to there, and I came back uphill and pulled out clear back here. So, I think I'm very happy with that. Anyway, like I said, I just wanted to film this because this really represents a lot of what I do. Just quick little repairs that you're going to spend, well, we spent, uh, looks like 30, seriously dog? My dog has really bad gas this morning. Anyway, um, <laughs> what was I saying? Uh, so yeah, we spent like 35 minutes setting up for this, cleaning it, grinding it, and the weld itself was what? A minute? I don't know what that was. That was not very long. So. Alright y'all, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed a look at Shop Life. Hey sir, how you doing today? Pretty good. I just got your cylinder done. So. Didn't know if you want me to bring it over to you or... Okay. Okay. On to other things.